the weather alert that we're tracking. You know, Danielle, we don't have a big amount of snow headed our way, but enough to create some slippery travel overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. The radar still right now is nice and quiet and there's no issues expected uh, through lunchtime and even most of the issues happening after the evening commute tonight. The exception may be areas uh, east of New Bedford. As we take a look at our future cast here on the radar, you can see some of that precipitation to our south. The clouds still in place at noon today with uh, that increase in at least the potential for some sprinkles and flurries around the time the kids are heading off the bus. Notice the steadier precipitation holding off until the later evening. So New Bedford seeing some snow during the evening commute, maybe mixing with some rain over the Cape and the islands that uh, snow will slowly work its way towards the north and west. So by 10 o'clock at night, most of the area likely to be seeing at least some light to at times moderate snowfall. Now notice that back edge of the snow uh, right across us here in Rhode Island. Some of our computer models put it a little bit further to the west, others keep it farther east and so we're right on the edge with accumulating snow. We're thinking in general maybe some small accumulations for us. So we'll talk about that tonight, tomorrow morning, looking at uh, our threat tracker elevated due to that risk of some accumulations and some slippery travel and reduced visibility because of it. Hurricane barrier camera over Providence right now. It's gray and we're seeing those cloudy skies in Newport. 39 degrees in Newport Harbor at the moment. 37 in North Kingstown. These temperatures barely budge through the day today. Mid to upper 30s throughout the afternoon cooling down to around the freezing mark by this evening and here's the center of our storm system going to be working its way to the north and east They're going to track far enough away that the worst of this system going to be a miss for us you can see that heavier precipitation remaining offshore we just get the leading edge of that lighter precipitation moving in during the afternoon and evening hours and as we get a closer look at that precipitation, it will continue not just into the night, but uh, tomorrow morning as well. So 8 o'clock, it will come to, to an end from uh, west to east across Rhode Island and eventually into southeastern Massachusetts, but our skies stay mostly cloudy. So again, we've seen bigger systems this winter, but we'll see one, two, possibly three inches of snow. Providence, Warwick, East Bay, crossing through East Providence. Uh, Fall River in that one to three inch range. Uh, so is West Warwick. But as you get west of that, along and west of 295, looking at just a coating to an inch of snow, if the storm were to track a little bit closer to us, all of this would shift westward. If it tracks a little bit farther away, then those higher totals, those three to six inch amounts, would be farther east offshore and those one to three inch amounts would be shifting into places like New Bedford. But right now there's a enough of a concern for several inches of snow in southern Bristol County in Massachusetts that the National Weather Service has expanded that winter weather advisory to include Fall River and New Bedford. And it's just east of New Bedford down from uh, the eastern Massachusetts coastline where there's also a wind advisory in effect. So the winds today out of the northeast at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, gusting over 20 miles per hour. And the strongest wind gusts along the Rhode Island shore expected to be up to around, say, 35 to 40 miles per hour. And could see a few top 40 miles per hour over far uh, eastern mass in that, wind, in that uh, wind advisory area. So some isolated wind damage or power outages. Uh, in Plymouth and Cape Cod. For our area, sprinkles and flurries at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Notice those temperatures cooling a little bit, 32 at 6 o'clock in the evening with some light snow, and that light snow threat will continue during the nighttime hours tonight. Steadiest of it will be in eastern Massachusetts. So waking up to some slow travel conditions tomorrow morning for many of us. That snow winding down, staying cloudy in the afternoon in the mid-30s, cold and dry on Wednesday. Could see some rain returning by late Thursday into early Friday. Full future cast.